here we are in this amazing kitchen. And ladies, before we get started, I just wanted to say that People Magazine named Vikas the hottest chef in the world. Can you believe that? I no. mean, I think he's the hottest <laughs> chef that I've ever seen. Tell me, what are we making today? Okay, I'm glad we're talking about the food now. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you should be flattered. Okay, so what we do is <laughs> to make... I remember when I went back home after many years, so my, you know, after MasterChef, my mother wanted me to do a class for all the women who would come for my kitty party house. <laughs> <laughs> what are these kitty parties you're going to do? Oh, kitty party? You cannot ask a Punjabi woman what does kitty party is because it's like a religion. Yeah. It's bigger than religion. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <clears throat> that is where I started. Yeah. So I had all these women from kitty parties and I'm making a small dish for them. And one woman is on the phone. Hey, Papu, to fair fail ho gaya. It's like, <laughs> like she's telling that son has failed again in the yeah. class. And I'm saying, Auntie Ji, can you pay attention? <laughs> and in the end, you know, and I'll be laughing about it and everything. She taps on my back and says, Kake, which means little son, right. is just food. Relationships is everything. I love that. that I will never line. forget that. <laughs> in the end, my kitty party lady showed me the real lesson. And the purpose, why food is important. It brings people together. Yes, and if it's not for that beauty of it, of being with them, then what's the purpose of it? What are curry leaves exactly? They're just they have curry flavor. <laughs> 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 I'm not a chef. I don't know these things. Curry leaves are extremely flavorful leaves, which are a very essential part of cooking. Okay. In South Ooh, India, even in the mid India. Again, the difference of doing this dish in India and doing it in America. In India, generally, we would you use... use coconut milk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom makes the best Indian food. I never enter the kitchen. <laughs> yes. This is why you need to teach me. This is why I'm here. They, they use a lot of coconut milk. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> you're so right because till the age of 17, you know, I, I grew up in Punjab. Okay. I'd never tasted coconut milk in my life. Yeah. I knew how coconut looked like because of the sea for coconut in the classroom. But you know, you're talking about the world which was pre-Google, you know. Right, right. So you had no information except for traveling. And that yeah. started in the south. So almost every dish has coconut. You're doing a great job, actually. Oh, thank you. See, I'm learning <laughs> something. <laughs> it's kind of rich, too, yes. in its texture as well. What is that, salt? That's salt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be funny. I picked it up from a temple. I wow, love this, this is a very thing. extravagant way to hold your salt. Hold to a salt. This recipe would require approximately half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Where's the pomegranate molasses? <laughs> That's right. Oh, <laughs> One big. You can use your spoon to bring this down. Yes, it's that it's thick. That thick. When you're going to taste this dish, this is from where all the flavors are going to come from. Okay. When you stir it, you always stir it in a motion. In a motion, got it. So, is there any um, recipe or specific? tradition that your grandma or your family used to use that you still use with you till this day? Yes, it's um, every time my grandmother cooked in the kitchen, she would always breathe very well. She said it's the breath which connects you to God and to wow. food. And I love that. I still believe that you cannot be tense when you're cooking. I'm not talking about just energy. I'm also talking you make better decisions. You understand the ingredients better. And I think that's an important part of cooking too. This is going to get pureed. And it also has this tanginess, which comes from pomegranate. Yeah, it was like a little bit sour almost, a little it bit. It comes yeah, from... It's nice, yes. I like it. Thank you very much. What we're doing now, which is not the second dish, it's the second part of this dish. <laughs> part is two. Part two. <laughs> you can have the oil splash on you. This is the safest way when you have this. No wonder I've gotten burned by oil when I try to <laughs> And how do you come up with all these recipes? Like, don't you ever feel like you're losing inspiration or you're doing the same things over and over again? Or is it just like a new thing every day you get inspiration and create something? You know, more than what I do or I create, I'm a support system. Mm -hmm. I have a great team. I adore them and I love them. I think most of the inspirations come from them. And we have an extremely multicultural kitchen. I was hosting an event for Time Magazine and we had all the new chefs from Asia and they asked me, what your inspiration comes from? I said, you know, and everybody said, you know, the greatest chefs or the greatest legends of the trade. And I said, my inspiration comes from a woman who was a total failure. My grandmom and me, you know, in business. Because when we'll be doing a small store, or a small whatever we were doing, kitty house, <laughs> so, <laughs> we would be so excited when somebody would come that we'll give them all food for free. 
we'll be so happy oh my god thank you so much for coming <laughs> and just like them. and uh, my grand my father would always say you should guys should just open a charity yeah. you should not call it business it's a disrespect you should just call it a charity you're not crazy you know running around everywhere and getting stressed out you're very calm and relaxed not always <laughs> Well, this looks delicious. I can't wait to eat it and try it. Even though I will be honest, I'm not a fan of seafood, <laughs> but just for you, I have to try this. And maybe you'll change my whole experience on seafood. Who knows? And you're telling me now that you don't <laughs> eat seafood. <laughs> I didn't want to disrespect you, so. But I'm I'm willing to take a bite of it. Okay. And who knows? I might end up liking seafood later. Okay. So we'll might find enjoy out. it. Thank you. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting since I I don't eat seafood. But I'm doing it just for you. It's an honor. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is so delicious. The fish is so tender and the flavors just pop out at you. And it doesn't even feel like I'm eating something fishy. <laughs> fishy. I think I'm gonna start eating seafood, you guys. No, seriously.